with all my heart I worship you All I have within me I give you praise All that I adore is in you Lord, I give you my heart, I give you my soul, I live for you. Every breath that I take, every moment I'm away, Lord, have your way in me, Lord, I give you my heart. I give you my soul, I live for you alone, every breath that I take, every moment I'm awake, Lord have your way in me, Lord have your way in me. This is my desire to honor you, Lord, my heart, I worship you. All I have within me. I give you praise. All that I adore is in you. Lord, I give you my heart. I give you my soul. I live for you alone, every breath that I take, every moment I'm awake, Lord have your way in me, Lord I give you my heart, I give you my soul, I live for you alone. Every breath that I take, every moment I'm awake, Lord, have your way in me. Every breath that I take, every moment I'm awake, Lord, have your way in me. Lord, have your way in me. Lord, have your way in me. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Oh, Eucharistic Jesus, I come heart and God who has come down from heaven to be with us in order to save us and to show mercy and compassion towards all those who are suffering from different kinds of problems. For we thank and praise and glorify your mighty name. At this hour, Lord, let your mercy flow from your hearts and flow to all those people who are in distress, who are in disappointment, who are suffering because of so many different and manifold reasons. Lord, I thank and glorify your mighty name. Oh Lord, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. 
O Sacrament most holy, O Sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O Sacrament most holy, O Sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Our Lord Jesus Christ, who is the compassionate face of the Father, has decided to come down into our midst at this hour in the form of this form of bread. And he has come down to be with us on this altar. This God is a merciful and compassionate God who has given up his life for each and everyone. He has come down to strengthen all those who are weak, to wind up all those who are wounded, to heal all those who are sick. This compassionate God has come down because he knows very well that we cannot save ourselves. As a part of compassion and mercy, he decided to take the form of a man. We read in the book of Exodus, chapter 3, God spoke to Moses on Mount Horeb from the burning bush. And Yahweh told him, I have come down because I have heard the cry of my people. So you should go down to Egypt in my name, for my name's sake. You have to save my beloved people. And he assured, Yahweh assured him of one thing, I will be with you. I will be with you. So God came down because he heard the cry of the suffering people and he wants to be with the suffering people. And for what? To liberate them from bondage and lead them to freedom and liberty. To give them a land flowing with honey and milk to raise their dignity, to raise them to the glory of the children of God, the beloved people of God. The same God has come down here on this altar. In every compassionate act, we can see these three steps. First, coming down. Second, to be with. Third, to raise up. This Jesus has come down at this hour in order to save each and every one of us, strengthen all of us, to empower us with the power of the Holy Spirit, take away all the bondages from our life, break all the fetters that bind our life and lead us into the freedom of the children of God. And to the fullness of life, let us look unto Him with hope. When we look unto Him with hope, He is ready to open His heart and allow that river of mercy to flow to each and every one of us. He is not going to give us three, four drops of His mercy, but the ocean of his mercy, or river of his mercy, his full of compassion and mercy. But we should have faith. We should have deep faith in him. Sometimes these days, we may have lost faith. Along with the father of the son with the convulsion, let us ask him, let us tell him, let us entreat him, Lord, I believe. Help my unbelief. Let us open our hands before him. 
Let's look. Him. Just repeat this prayer. Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. Help my unbelief. Help my unbelief. Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. Help my unbelief. Help my unbelief. Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. Help my unbelief. Help my unbelief. Oh Lord Jesus Christ, we are praying before you. We are praying for this gift of faith. Without this gift of faith, we cannot call upon your name. Without this gift of faith, we cannot trust in you. Without this gift of faith, we cannot open our hearts before you. Without this faith, we cannot surrender our life unto your hands so that we may be reformed by you, O oh Lord. So, Lord Jesus Christ, once again, with a great desire to increase in our faith, to grow in our faith, we are asking that Father of the Son with the convulsion, Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. Help my unbelief. Help my unbelief. Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. Help my unbelief. Help my unbelief. Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. Help my unbelief. Help my unbelief. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. In your name. In your name. I trust you, Lord. I trust you, Lord. In your name. In your name. I trust Lord I trust Lord I call on call upon your name I call upon your name because because your name is powerful your name is powerful to cast out all evil to cast out all evil all powers of evil all powers of evil to cast out all the powers of Satan. You cast out all powers of Satan. Your name is powerful. Your name is powerful to break all bondages. To break all bondages. Your name is our fault sins to forgive all sins your name is powerful your name is powerful to heal all sickness to heal all sickness i trust in you i trust in you i trust in your name i trust in your name hallelujah 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 thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus hallelujah 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 Hallelujah. 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 Dear brothers and sisters, we are preparing for the celebration of the feast of the divine mercy. Tomorrow the whole church is celebrating the feast of divine mercy. And mercy has got three steps. Mercy is little deeper than what we understand in our ordinary life. It is not simply sympathy towards somebody. It is not simply feeling sympathy towards a suffering person. It is more than that. As I have told you, God felt compassion and mercy towards the suffering people who were under bondage of Pharaoh in Egypt. So God came down, came down to speak to Moses and through Moses to liberate the people. So the first step is coming down. Second one, as I told you, is be with. And third one is raise up. During the Divine Marriage Sunday, According to original tradition, we also meditate on and reflect on the confession of faith of St. Thomas, the Apostle of India. St. Thomas experienced the divine mercy so personally and intensely in his own life. After experiencing that mercy and compassion, he became a powerful apostle who was ready to take up any challenge. He was ready to suffer anything for the sake of God, to spread the kingdom of God. That is why he took up that long journey and came down to India. 
to sow the seed of faith here among the people of India. How St. Thomas was able to experience that mercy of God, that is what I would like to explain for a few minutes. The fire and compassion is coming down. Jesus came down to the weaknesses and sufferings and the mental agony of St. Thomas. St. Thomas was not with other 11 disciples when Jesus appeared after his resurrection. St. Thomas felt that he was discriminated. So he felt as if he was rejected by the Lord. And second, sometimes he might have thought, I lost that great gift of the vision of the risen Lord because I decided to go away from the solidarity, the community of the disciples. Instead of remaining in communion with the disciples, he might have gone out. So he might have felt that him. Because of that, he declared, I will believe if only I lay my hands on his chest and put my finger in his wounds. So here we can see two different types of weaknesses in St. Thomas. One was this, he felt discriminated, so he had mental agony. Mentally he was suffering because of the feeling of discrimination and rejection. Second, guilt feeling. That was his mental agony. He had spiritual struggle to believe. He did not keep that in his heart. He had that openness to express it. Lord, I believe if only you allow me to lay my hands on your chest and put my finger in your wounds. So he had difficulty in believing, spiritual struggle. So St. Thomas had psychological struggle as well as spiritual struggle, mental anger as well as spiritual struggle. Jesus came down to his own status. Jesus did not condemn him, despise him, belittle him. Jesus decided to be available for St. Thomas to be touched. Once I was at home, my brother and his family came from Canada, and he has a son of three, four years. And this son, my nephew, asked me a very inquisitive question, which I felt is a foolish one. So instead of and with the patience, I gave him a mocking answer because I could not go down to his status as a small child. But I saw my sister-in-law with so much of patience, with a smiling face, allow that son to sit in her lap and gradually try to explain to him or give him answer to his question. My sister-in-law really taught me a lesson, how to come down to the status of these little children who are ignorant, who are so inquisitive to know so many new things. I could not go down to his status, but my sister-in-law could. Jesus was able to go down to the, the status of St. Thomas, instead of despising him, Jesus allowed him to touch him and believe. So he, Jesus came down to the status of St. Thomas, to the status of his suffering, to the status of his mental agony, to the status of his spiritual struggle. And then, when, G, uh, when he was available for St. Thomas to touch and believe, then we can see the Holy Spirit raising St. Thomas 
to the status of great faith. That is why St. Thomas confessed his deep faith in the Lord. My Lord, my God. We don't see any other disciple confessing Jesus as the Lord and God. It was St. Thomas for the first time in the history of the church who confessed Jesus as the Lord and God. And with that faith, he came down to India and tried to convert so many. Fulton J. Sheen, in one of his books, when he was explaining about vocation, he made a statement. Every vocation should start from God's experience. Every vocation should start from God's experience, not from aptitude. When we have deep God experience, that will help us to grow in faith. When we grow in faith, we will have that great zeal to share our faith with others. So St. Thomas had that great personal intense God experience by touching him and putting his finger in the wound of Jesus. After experience and mercy and compassion of God, then he was not able to sit idle. He wanted to share that compassionate love of God to others. He wanted to share that faith with others. That is why he came round to India. A cradle of three world religions. A, a country where people with deep relig religiosity were living in this country. So he was able to sow the seed of faith in this country because of the intensity of the faith he had and intensity of the God experience he got by touching Jesus. So let us ask the Lord to show that compassion, mercy in our lives so that we can have deep faith in him. And after receiving that deep faith in our heart, we'll be able to confess him. St. Paul in Romans chapter 10, verse 9 and 10 told us who will receive salvation. If you want to be saved, first, you have to believe in your heart that Jesus Christ is raised from the dead. Second, you have to confess through your tongue that Jesus is the Lord. So first, to believe in the risen Lord. Second, confess him through tongues. That, is what, that was what St. Thomas did. He believed in the risen Lord. Then he confessed Jesus before so many people. So he was able to bring so many, even high-class Hindus, to the faith in Jesus. So let us ask them, this merciful God to increase our faith. Let his mercy flow to each and every one of us. Let us also pray that God show mercy towards all those who are struggling with faith. So as we are preparing for the feast of the divine mercy, let us entreat for his mercy and compassion. Today being the ninth day of the novena to the divine mercy. With the great trust in him, let us participate in this novena prayer and the chaplet of mercy. Today, bring to me souls who have become lukewarm and immerse them in the abyss of my mercy. These souls wound my heart most painfully. My soul suffered the most dreadful loathing in the garden of olives because of the lukewarm souls. They were the reason I cried out, Father, take this cup away from me if it is if it be your will. For them, the last hope of salvation is compassionate, compassionate Jesus. Jesus. You, you are, are compassion, compassion itself. itself. I bring, bring lukewarm souls soul into the abode of your most compassionate heart. heart. In this in fire of your pure love, love, let these tepid souls, souls who like corpses fill you with, with such a deep, deep loathing. loathing. Be once again set aflame. 
or most compassionate Jesus. Exercise the omnipotence of your mercy and draw them into the very ardor of your love and bestow upon them the gift of holy love for nothing is beyond your power. Eternal Father, turn your merciful gaze upon lukewarm souls who are nonetheless enfolded in the most compassionate heart of Jesus. Father of mercy, I beg you by the better passion of your Son and by his three-hour agony on the cross, let them too glorify the abbeys of your mercy. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners, sinners now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. I believe in God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Creator, Creator of, of heaven and earth, and in and Jesus, Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was, who was conceived, conceived by the Holy Spirit, Spirit born of the Virgin Mary, suffered, crucified, died, died, and was buried. buried. He descended, he descended into hell. hell. On, On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Amen. In this first decade, let us pray especially for all those who are struggling hard to believe, especially these days due to the pandemic. Many people have lost faith in the sacraments. Many have go, uh, stopped going for confession. Many are missing Holy Mass. And many people who have prayed hard so that they may see the end of this pandemic are disappointed. So many of them have grown heard in the prayer, in that, in, in that uh, desire of Jesus. The lukewarmness is something that is paining the heart of Jesus. As we read in the book of Revelation, chapter 3, verse 14 and following, the letter to Laodicea. I wish that you be either cold or hot, but you are lukewarm. So I will spit you out my mouth. Let us pray for all those who are struggling hard to keep up their faith. Let's pray that all of them may receive that new spirit of faith. They may be able to grow in faith. Let them be able to come out of the lukewarmness. Let them have more zeal. Let the Holy Spirit enframe within them the spirit of faith. Everybody who has lost that faith during this year of pandemic may receive back what they have lost. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly Eternal beloved Son, Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of a sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of a sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world. Of a sorrowful passion, 
have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of a sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of a sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of a sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of a sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of a sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of a sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world let's pray for all those who are living in superstitious beliefs those who are believing in sorcery those who are believing in astrology those who have gone away from faith because of the influence of this kind of superstitious beliefs the heart of jesus is very much in pain because all those believers who have gone astray from him just a covenant with yahweh and went after baal ashtaroth molech and other canonic gods and they practiced superstitious beliefs they offered sacrifice to baal offered their own children to molech they burned their own children in the furnace you know to please these foreign gods and god was very much dis- uh, displeased with this so god sent them away from their own land god allowed them to suffer exile in babylon let all those people who are living in such sins sins of superstitious beliefs and sorcery black magic and believing in astrology and palm reading let the lord so mercy and compassion towards them help them to realize the mistake the folly in which they are believing let the lord bring them back to the true faith so that they may trust in jesus they may cling to jesus and receive all the blessings he has promised from his merciful heart eternal father we offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved son our lord jesus christ in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of sorrowful have on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world let's pray for all those who are practicing devil worship these days so many people are secretly drawn to the devil the devil are devils are really putting up snares you know to tempt to people to go away from god many are attracted to wealth and for the sake of success in business prosperity of and and well and uh, attaining more wealth many people are going after devil worship there are so many secret agents who are 
approaching the symbol souls to of material gains and those who are going after it do not realize that they are endangering their souls forever once they are under the bondage of these kind of evil practices it will be very hard for them to come out it will be very hard for them to escape from the snares and many people are lost many souls are lost because of this outside they may look all right outside they may be so dignified people well positioned people but inside their heart secret practices and clandestine practices are there in their lives which are really endangering not only their lives but also people with whom they mingle with they also draw many others to such practices and god is sorry devil is very powerfully using such defeat the plan of god to lead the poor the the simple faithful people away from the grace of god the blessing of god that our jesus our lord jesus has obtained through his suffering death and resurrection so let's pray for all those who are practicing the devil worship and going after it all those who are advocating it eternal father i offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved son our lord jesus christ in atonement of our sins and those of the world for the sake of a sorrowful passion the onus and on the whole world for the sake of a sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of a sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of a sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of a sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of a sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of a sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of a sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of a sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of a sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on many people have lost because of the scandal of the icons of faith they expect the priests the religious and the church leaders to be good models and examples of spiritual life of morality of faith but ordinary faithful when they see scandalous experiences in the lives of the leaders when the priests do not live up to their vocation when the religious go astray from their commitment to the lord 
instead of showing good models and examples to the faithful and thus raise them to the de to deeper faith higher level of faith some have lived sinful life and caused a scandal to others scandal mean and bad examples always always put stumbling block on the way of the faithful to their journey towards the kingdom of god when jesus foretold about his suffering and his death and resurrection saint peter took him astray to took him uh, away and took him aside and dissuaded jesus from taking up the cross and dying it was then jesus called him satan satanos the one who causes scandal the one who puts tumbling block on the way so all those people who are showing uh, bad examples and morals are putting tumbling block for the that especially these days because of scandalous life of few of the church leaders many of the faithful have lost faith or they have developed a kind of questioning attitude critical attitude towards the faith and the church let's pray to the lord that they may receive mercy from god instead of looking unto these bad models let them look unto thousands of good models whom god has raised up before us let them look unto jesus who died for each and every one of us o oh lord jesus christ we entrust all those people before you show your compassion and mercy towards them and inflame that fire of faith in the hearts of all those who have lost faith because of the scandal they have seen in the life of the leaders eternal father we offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved son our lord jesus christ in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have, have mercy, mercy on us and on, on the, whole the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful for world and especially pray before the lord that he may show mercy and compassion towards the whole world we have a second wave or third wave of corona pandemic even if many people have received vaccination the first dose even second dose still we are not able to contain this pandemic the government measures and the measures of the health department are not sufficient to control this pandemic let the lord show mercy and compassion towards this world especially those who are suffering from this corona virus these days hospitals are overflowing with patients government officials are struggling hard to find out spaces and places to and many families are very much in distress and many are isolated and this is really causing great fear and anxiety in the hearts of the people in the past when some spiritual people those who are specially chosen by the lord when they prayed for the cessation or the of the removal of the pandemic 
God used to work miracles. These days, many people say, why it does not happen, happen now in our era? We do not know what is the plan of God. But let us ask the Lord to show compassion and mercy towards the whole world. Let him withdraw this pandemic from the world so that we can live a normal life, praising him, glorify him, living a uh, uh, life of love in the families and the community. Let people able to communicate. Let people able to mingle. Let people able to share what they have. Let them be able to experience the, the joy of community life and family life. Let us ask the Lord to show mercy and compassion on this world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement of our sins and those of the world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of a sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of a sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world For the sake of a sorrowful passion Have mercy on us and on the whole world For the sake of a sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of a sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world For the sake of a sorrowful passion Have mercy on us and on the whole world For the sake of a sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One Have mercy on us and on the whole world Holy God Holy Mighty One Holy Immortal One Have mercy on us and on the whole world Litany to the divine mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Divine mercy, greatest attribute of God, we trust in you. 
divine mercy unfathomable love of the sanctifier we, we trust, trust in, in you divine mercy incomprehensible mystery of the most blessed trinity we, we trust, trust in you divine mercy expression of the greatest might of god we, we trust, trust in you divine mercy in creation of heavenly spirits we, we trust, trust in you divine mercy in calling us Uh, forth from nothingness to existence we, we trust, trust in, in you divine mercy encompassing the whole universe we, we trust, trust in you divine mercy endowing us with immortal life we, we trust, trust in you divine mercy endowing us with so shielding us from this our uh, punishment we, we trust, trust in you, you. divine must seen we, we trust, trust in you. you divine mercy justifying us through the person of the incarnate word we, we trust, trust in you. you divine mercy which flowed from out from the wounds of christ we, we trust, trust in, in you. you divine mercy gushing forth from the sacred heart of jesus we, we trust, trust in you. you divine mercy giving us the blessed virgin mary as mother of mercy we, we trust, trust in you. you divine mercy in revealing the mysteries of god we, we trust, trust in you. you divine mercy in the founding of the holy church we, we trust, trust in you. you divine mercy in instituting the holy sacraments we, we trust, trust in, in you. you divine mercy first of all in the sacraments of baptism and penance we, we trust, trust in, in you, you. divine mercy in the holy eucharist and the sacrament of holy orders we, we trust, trust in, in you divine mercy in calling us to the holy faith We trust, we trust in you divine mercy in the conversion of sinners we, we trust, trust in you divine may find find the just we, we trust, trust in you. you divine mercy in perfecting of the pious we, we trust, trust in, in you divine mercy found of help for the sick and the suffering we, we trust, trust in you divine mercy a sweet relief for anguished hearts we, we trust, trust in you divine mercy only hope of despairing souls we, we trust, trust in you divine mercy accompanying us in every moment of our life we, we trust, trust in you divine mercy anticipating our needs with the great graces we trust we trust in you divine mercy respo- repose of the dying we, we trust, trust in you divine mercy heavenly delight of the saved we, we trust, trust in you divine mercy respite and relief of the souls in purgatory we, we trust, trust in you divine mercy crown of all saints we, we trust, trust in you divine mercy in exhaustible source of mer- uh, miracles we, we trust, trust in you lamb of god mercy in redeeming the world by dying on the cross spare, spare us, us o lord lamb of god who mercifully offers yourself for our sake in every holy mass graciously, graciously hear us, us o lord lamb of god who takes away our sins with inexhaustible compassion have, have mercy, mercy on us the mercy of god is above all his works hence we, we will praise the divine, divine mercy forever and ever let us pray eternal eternal god in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will which is love and mercy itself through our lord jesus christ king of mercy who with you and now and forever amen amen let us believe that the merciful lord has shown compassion and kindness towards each and every one of us because we trust in him with that trust we call upon his name let us believe that that mercy and compassion He is now flowing out from the wounded heart of Jesus. Let us believe that Jesus, who is on this altar, who has come down in order to save us, in order to console us and comfort us and strengthen us, now show mercy to each and every one of us and for all those people for whom we have prayed. So let us lift our hands before him and praise and glorify him for a few seconds.
Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Lord, we thank and praise you for all the blessings you have showered upon your beloved children during this hour of adoration because this holy Eucharist is a source of all blessings for the whole humanity. You have come down to our midst in the form of this piece of bread in order to take away all the bondages from us, in order to forgive all our sins, in order to heal all the sick people, in order to give hope to all those who are in disappointment. Oh Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, we thank and praise you for fulfilling all your promises at this moment. Lord, let us be able to experience Hallelujah. that may and Hallelujah. compassionate Hallelujah. touch of yours. So let us be able to experience Jesus your loving presence in our midst, O Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Be glorified your mighty name, O Lord. Let your name be glorified all throughout the earth. Let the whole universe fall on your name. Let the whole universe fill with your glory, O Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. May the Eucharist Jesus and God. Bless each and every one of you and your family. Then in the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now let us bow our head before the Lord, so that the Eucharistic Jesus may bless each and every one of us and our family. Here I am to worship. Here I am to bow down. Here I am to say that you're my God You're altogether lovely Altogether worthy Altogether wonderful to me Here I am to worship Here I am to bow down Here I am to say that you my God, lovely, altogether worthy, altogether wonderful to me. You're wonderful to me. You're wonderful to me. Jesus, wonderful to me. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine.